uh, Waitish, who will be on Petra the entire way through. And in really, I think Waitish is the only orb main in every single region. <laughs> in, Pretty in, much. Like, I remember looking wow. at the Royale stats in the past, and there was like, one orb player, 100% win rate. It was because Radish won that run that seasonal, right? And it's been the case for for quite a long time. We've seen people try Reno, but they were mainly there for the blasters and not really for that weapon. And Luna is so experienced fighting against it. But opening up here in game number one, it's Radish on the gauntlets here with the Petra. And he's already hitting a ton of recoveries as Luna's having trouble getting back to the ground. Good side air coming out from Radish. It's so funny because like, uh -oh. Uh oh, that clash That's out! It. And oh. Luna converts it to a KO. Got his pick of weapons, likely will be sticking with the Qataris. Yeah, would have been interesting to see how Radish reacted to that one there as Luna got that clash because that felt like all Radish there on that edge guard until that very last hit. And now Luna, up three stocks to two, gets hit by a Saren. That's just enough force to be able to make that happen. Uh, even set up two to two. And and that's got to be a little tense because I feel like even though Luna got the reversal there on that edge guard, it was lucky. Like, it was one of those cases where it was like, okay, he did the right thing, it worked out in the right way, but Radish still has the momentum behind his play style right now. Yeah, you can't rely on Radish dipping that low and you getting that single hit and having it end up trade out in your favor. Now it's got to be that consistency. He's got those blasters in oh. hand. Nice ground pound for that damage there, and too. He, he let it release early instead of it having it like auto connect so that he got the blast for it to be able to hit, even though it didn't look like it was going to. Really well played. Nice snare and a recovery. Going to sweat to be able to get it to connect. Falling sideline. Side air disarms Luna. Switches over to the fresh orb. Stares him off the stage again. Can Luna make it back? The down from Raidish here against the wall. I can't believe that didn't hit. Luna able to dodge through. He did get the wall touch, but. He's had no weapon. He's been taking damage. There's the weapon. Spawn picks up the Katars, but he needs to get more damage on the Radish here. No way. Not Gravity enough. cancel neutral light recovery. He was so close to being able to knock out on its own. No dodge means Radish can get that falling. Saren, that's just enough force to knock him out. And Luna shaking his wrists, getting ready to be on this last stock here. Um, but Radish opening up with the game one win would be huge for him here. Yeah, definitely a little bit of favoritism towards Luna on my part, but also I think like the stats kind of give it to Luna. Mm -hmm. We were talking about how he tends to be the one to take down Radish. Yeah, this would just be, for me, a really exciting win to see Radish get because how often Radish has brought Luna to game five and then dropped it all in the very last game for Luna to take the victory. They have certainly been long-standing rivals in North America when it comes to winners finals and community tournaments and special tournaments alike. Uh, and Radish dashing forward with that down Where is light. It? Oh, gets hit by the recovery from Luna. Yeah, he was waiting for the opportunity. You really saw Radish uh, just kind of diving around, trying to avoid that recovery from Luna. Luna just very patient, very smart with it. Radish now over to the gauntlets. Offstage opportunity for Luna. He's got him on the corner here. Yeah, nice Nair gets the backswing of it. Falls with that downer, doesn't fall through the platform, so Luna gets a punish with the Nair, and that's it. What can Luna do here? Oh, wow, that downer doesn't hit, and Radish gets a quick punish. Jump there, opening up Radish. Radish thought Luna was going to try to go in towards the center of the stage and ended up not catching him with that recovery. Oh, man, and now Luna dashing forward, dashing oh. back down. Again, it's the second time at the dare. Luna's like going for the spacing on the down air to where he doesn't get the landed uh, animation. Yeah. And Radish is spacing right outside of where the guitar blades would hit, and he's punishing him every single time for it. And now he's a sideline side air away from winning game, one, game number one. Oh, but Luna, if he gets to do that Wait, recovery, there oh. oh. the end like oh. the wrong way. He drops the sidelight, Sarah? That that's, wouldn't... That's, that's just a true combo. That doesn't no, that, he, he went for a recovery. That's why the NC came is, out. Is that why that happened? Yeah, no. that's why the NC came out. He just he missed input the dash down. Oh, he misses the Sarah there as well. Now it's a one-hit game either way. I don't... I'm, I'm not confident that Luna could KO right now. Oh. To keep it a stack. I'm not what? sure it would what work. You, no, no, no. Dealer recovery. Right? Absolutely. Okay, exactly. right. Yes, there okay. it is. He but I was saying like win. a raw Sarah probably oh, wouldn't have done I it. I think that you misunderstood what I was talking about. Radish went for orb side light side air. Yeah. That's true no matter what. Yeah. But he dropped it. Yeah. Because he dodged in. That's what I'm saying. Because you were saying that they were both one hit away. Yeah. But I, w I guess what I was trying to say is that if Radish hit that side light side air, he won the game. Yeah. Okay. I agree with oh, that. Okay. 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 I, I misunderstood what you were saying. Okay. Because that was like definitely Radish's blunder there. And then Luna was able to bring that back with the dealer recovery. That was a really close game. I mean, when it gets. I love I love saying that orb's hard because side light side air is hard, but it's. <laughs> Look, even Radish drops it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even Radish drops it. Is. <laughs> and he's the two, best orb player. One, all right? I think a hard. lot of drops are happening here, though. This is this is a stage yeah. is making a lot of people 
sweat in ways that I, I don't think they were ready for. We saw the Fozy double deal at recovery drop, yeah. right, too. This is a thing where it's like, oh, man, I'm so used to just saying that the game's over in regards to these openers here. And we're seeing those rare moments where they're giving their opponents opportunities to come back and get the win, and that's what happened there. That was an incredibly close game, one that Luna barely won, and it was Radish's game to lose. And I think that really just kind of uh, magnifies the consistency that Nees was bringing with his downlight recoveries. Yeah. The fact that he's been so consistent when so many other players are dropping those things, Ooh. definitely impressive. As Luna gets the downlight recovery himself, he's not dropping those. Yeah, Luna's been very consistent with this as well. I would say if Luna was dropping anything, it was just kind of like how he's choosing to play the neutral game. But I mean, that's not really dropping something. That's just how you're playing. Do you like dash jump down air? Oh, I like that. Do you like dash jump dare is one of my favorite things to do on blasters, and especially yeah. if you get the right reads. You could do like D light dash jump dare, gravity cancel D light side air. Love There's that one. so many uh, follow up that you can get off of that if you catch your opponent sleeping on that follow up. Um, and Luna still has done a ton of damage, and that Sarah's not going to be enough to knock oh! him out. Okay, that okay. down sig hitting him mid side sig. If that was timed any differently, if Radish was just a little more greedy, yeah. I think the side sig would have would have hit him in the air. Yeah, yeah that was a that was a clutch moment. A really good play from Radish. You know, he's, he's been a lot better about kind of doing that down sig on a little bit more of a reaction. Like, it's, it's yeah. a lot harder to react to when he's just throwing it out quick instead of charging it up and saying, I'm going to try to yeah. catch your timing. Instead of what it used to be, which was like my opponent's off stage. There's a 60% chance that will down sig. <laughs> <laughs> and it just happens randomly. Uh, yeah, that was really well placed. Um, and now it's an even game, 2-2. Two two. Nair catches them in the air, tries to go for the dodge and move the recovery. Oh, another recovery okay. comes through, and both of them are sweating back to the, to the stage. Get their jumps back. Luna gets hit by side light side air, but he's going to take a few more of those to get the knockout. Side sig, no down sigs here. Luna too close to the stage to feel safe for it, but now a down sig could come through. Yeah. Oh, and, and that hits he two! He dodges into it. That's two down sig knockouts off the right side of the stage. And I honestly didn't think that was, like, I was, like, ready for it to, like, happen, but not, not for it to hit. I was, I was ready for Radish to throw it out, but I thought Luna was going to be man, to yeah. dodge the correct direction. Just didn't quite work out. Downlight recovery, though. He cleans up the stock. Final stocks here. Yeah. Uh, and so far, the only thing that has been working against Luna for these early knockouts are those down six which is orb. That was almost it's a ripple uh, wake up punish there from Luna. Oh, those dash, those, those jump and place fastballs are so scary after the end lights. You see Luna just waiting for something to react to. It's not really giving him too much there. Oh, ground pound. Off stage. That oh. was wild. Okay. Luna goes off stage to fight him even more. Weapon, Weapon throws. Toss. Dive kick, yeah. Raiders goes over to the gauntlets to starve him. Ooh. That, that nair was perfect. Hit. I, I can't believe it didn't hit. All right, Luna on the blasters needs a little more here. Goes for it? the recovery, and it will KO. Luna's up 2-0, but there was a hot moment there where Radish looked like he was going to win it. Yeah, that's three downlight dash jump recoveries for the knockout in a single game, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if we had the highlight reel there, it would just be D light dash jump recovery. Is that hat for me? Can I have that hat? That's a rubber duck. duck. Yeah, that's adorable. Yeah, that hat Where is for you. Hat? Where did he get it? I need that hat. You'll ask him afterwards. It's fine. He's gonna I, I'm going to forget this. him. You're going to forget. What? No, I, have, I have the memory of a goldfish. He won't forget. Okay, yeah. He's got the memory of the rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, of course, the most notable <laughs> memory. <laughs> 100 years long lasting, right? Um, here we are in game three. Okay, that was that was. Yeah, that I was, was like, are they oh, that, that was that was that right? just both ways. So this is very stressful for Radish to be in this position, right? We talked about how Luna is kind of his demon in all brackets. Yeah. The few tournaments that I think Radish has won, he managed to dodge Luna because Luna got beaten by somebody else. Um, and in this case, right, uh, the only knockouts that he got in the last game was off of those down ticks, which I'm absolutely certain Luna can play around a little bit better here this time around. So let's see if Radish can bring this to a game four because Luna has clutched whoa, many games now against Radish where he has the lead and Radish can't close. Oh. Side air, Radish on the outside here, goes high. Luna getting some more damage. Oh, GC side light to catch the movement as he and goes he further. And then he chased dodges afterwards. It could have gotten him with a recovery there. And Luna showing the confidence there with the movement. Falling Sair will knock him out. But he nods and he goes, all right, I know what to do. Catch that down light, get the recovery, back to an even game. And this time I'll have the lead. Okay, that haymaker is not a down light recovery, Luna. That was, you're taking some damage for that one. Oh, and he's taking a lot of damage trying to finish this off. The slap down, the weapon toss up the stocks. This time it wasn't a downlight recovery. And he's yeah. not immediately swapping weapons. Still manages to deny from Radish. 
All right, Luna evens things up. Gets one Nair, and that's all that's going to come from that. Side air, doesn't get the second side air. Luna falls down to Nair, edge guard opportunity, goes in. No, recovery from Radish, allows to get back to stage, and the orb dares start coming through. Very back and forth from both players, and these end lights are starting to work out better and better for Radish, but the gravity cancel down, it cuts right through Radish's defense, and they go back to center stage. And oh, Luna now running away dodge. with a massive streak. Oh! Gravity cancel, side light, weapon oh! throw. Doesn't get the Still pick up, moves. but he goes and does it. He misses the down light, the ground down, the ground pound, and that down sig almost connects. Yo, but more importantly, didn't get caught by that down sig. That yeah. almost connected. He's got the blast, just doesn't hit the down light, though. Radish still alive on the second stock, Whoa. and that means uh, there's an Whoa. opportunity here. The dare. <gasps> he has no recovery. Down light ground pound. Oh, Radish just several moments there where he was like expecting Luna to go for the D light ground pound, I think, earlier than Luna yeah. was going for. And Luna patiently waited out for Radish to use every single option before finishing off that stock. It was a, it was unusual for me to see Radish go off stage with gravity cancel side light. I'm like, just like stay on stage and down stage. It was working so well, but Radish thinking that he had to go for that risk. And now Luna has him off stage. Oh, that's scary. Side light side air could bring Radish back into this game. Number three down air is going to put him off stage. Oh. The weapon toss out, catching him out. Can he take this to game four? Unarmed recovering orb as a weapon throw looks like the most painful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a giant, it, it might as well be a bowling ball hitting your, 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 your head there. That is just terrible. I mean, it is a magic orb. Like, we don't know the mass of that object. Right. Well, it could have the mass of a neutron star. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, that could be some insane mass behind that. Yeah, Petra could just be really, really strong. She does have a lot of strength. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but he's far, far behind here against Lucian, who is also deceptively tanky, despite being... Uh, oh, and that, that side light comes through here. Let's get that down here. Ball, the banner's tighter. This could be it, Duke. This could be the 3-0. Looking for the side light. Hits the down air, and Luna! 3 O's Radish, the bracket demon continues on. He's going into the top eight, and he's done for today. You know, I think Radish's story is similar to Nees's with mine at this point, where it's like, uh, he's so good and could potentially win any bracket as long as he avoids who is the best in NA at singles right now, okay. which is which is Luna, who can lose to other players, but I don't think Luna ever loses to Radish. And Nees has the same problem, but with Godly. And okay. I look at both of those players, and I'm like, ah. Oh. I want to see that first crushing set victory that they can get over that, but but it's just so tough. Luna's so darn good against Orb. And even even in the games where Radish, I feel like, is doing everything right, has the game plan down perfectly, Luna just goes, you know what, 